Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Insight with IntelliDivide. Today I will show you how to easily and conveniently create an optimization, use parts list and manage machine parameters. Let's go. So in the first episode we have seen how easy you can work with IntelliDivide. Today I want to show you some more details when once again we are creating now a new optimization and therefore I click once again here on add optimization on our the blue button and in this screen here now you can select the machine you want to use. So if a customer has different machines maybe a CNC and a saw or two different saws then you can uh, define your own machines you want to use for me I'm going to select here the Sawtech S200. Then you can define a parameter setting. And then in the next step, you can import now your parts list. Of course, you can also enter manually a parts here inside the list. But in the most of the cases, customers, they have a system where they get the parts list created automatically. And such a kind of um, parts list I'm going to import now. And this is something here that looks usually like that. So this is a parts list uh, with the different dimensions. So you have the length, the width, um, you have um, information about the grain, grain direction, customer name, and project name, maybe some information about also the edge material, of course, information about the board material, and so on. So this is usually the content of such a, a parts list and this can be imported here inside IntelliDivide. The import can also uh, be configured. So if you want to change um, the content and you want to map the content in an, another way, then you have the possibility here to do changes inside the mapping because in the most of the uh, uh, time the content of the Excel or of the CSV file you get from external systems are not the same content in the same order like we need it in IntelliDivide. And here you can define, you can manage the order of all these parameters. So this is the idea of this mapping. And then you can save it one time. And the next time you just confirm this import and then IntelliDivide is mapping automatically the content of this parts list inside IntelliDivide. If something is still wrong in IntelliDivide, you will get an, a message here. You see we have an error because this material code is not existing, but you can adapt it very easily here in IntelliDivide. We get here a link to our material database and then we can very easily choose another um, kind of material. I'm going to choose this one, for instance. And then I can start optimization. Before I'm starting our optimization, I want to give you some more insights about the parameters which are uh, behind these settings, for instance, behind machine parameters. So if you click on here, you see you can define general um, uh, settings for your saw, for instance, the cutting length of your saw you can define here, or of course the saw blade curve is an important yeah, dimension to calculate the, the whole cutting plan. You can define off-cut dimensions because you don't want to yeah, keep all the single waste parts, also small waste parts, but you need a minimum dimension that is worth to define this as an off-cut you want to reuse maybe in the next optimization. Then in the third tab here you can define trim cuts. Yeah, oftentimes the boards are damaged outside and then you want to cut a small uh, strip around and here you can define the dimension of these trim cuts around the board. And finally we have the possibility to define um, or to add tension trims. Tension trims are necessary if you have tensions inside your robot and if you cut in the straight line and after the first cut the line is not straight but a little bit curved then you see okay we have tension in the board and if you add tension trims 
then IntelliDivide is adding automatically some cuts uh, to remove this, trims, uh, this tension uh, in the board. So this can be uh, configured here. And in the parameter list, we have some additional parameters you can um, add. So for instance, you can define how the boards should be oriented, if they should be uh, oriented in the lengthwise or crosswise or both. And you can define the number of the head cuts you want to allow the optimization software to calculate, one, two, three, and you can define this by yourself. Um, all other parameters also, of course, can be changed here inside. So the quantity, yeah, if you need maybe more, then you just enter two and two maybe. Yeah, so everything can be adapted here in this table. And then finally, once again, our light blue button. Now we are starting the optimization. So IntelliDivide is not calculating only one solution. Yeah, you heard it already in the first episode. So IntelliDivide try um, yeah, to manipulate and to vary the different settings um, to optimize and then provide automatically different solutions depending maybe on the, on the yield, number of off cards, production time, handling time, and so on. And this result will be displayed Afterwards, when the cutting plan is calculated, the result will be displayed here as a balanced solution. So this is what you see in, in the first uh, way, but you also can choose between other solutions. If you want to prefer maybe the solution for little waste, then you get another kind of cutting plans and then you can use these plans yeah, for this job. Yeah, that's it for the second episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll explain everything you need to know about creating board and material data for an optimization in IntelliDivide. Until next time when it's once again digital insight with IntelliDivide.